Hey, this is Mark. Let's take a few seconds to look at the difference between receiving RTK corrections with a NAD83 reference frame and an IGS08 reference frame. So I'm in Carlson Surf CE. This is version 3. Let's make a new job. Call it IG03. And uh, we're going to work in US Survey Feet, Utah Central. So let's go to survey and store points. Right now I'm occupying a virtual point over the Red Butte core station up the canyon from Salt Lake City. So if we look at monitor sky plot and go to the position tab, see I have a fixed position and I'm displaying this NAD 83 position, 40, 46, 51, 807, point nine, and change. Let's store this point. This is the NAD 83 point, so we'll give it a NAD 83 description and store that point. Now, I'm going to exit out, and instead of um, getting corrections from the Utah Reference uh, Network, which is um, a NAT83 Cores 96, actually it's a NAT83 2011 realization today. Um, I'm going to switch over and use UNAVCO corrections. And those are IGS 08 reference frame adjusted. So if I come back into store points, you'll see that my position has shifted over. Um, I'm about a meter distant. Zoom in here a little bit. Um, well, it looks like I'm about a meter or half a meter or a couple of meters distance from the NAT83 frame. And you can see that over here. If you go to monitor sky plot and then click on the position tab again, you'll see that now our position is 8272 and change. So when I've switched reference frames, by changing my RTK correction source, it actually moves me to the new realization or the opposite realization. So this is kind of a problem if I want to record data in NAT83. Luckily, Carlson in version 3 has given us a way to fix that. We can go to Equipment, Localization, and then on the System tab, we can check the box this labeled convert WGS84 to NAT83. And if we come back to survey and then to store points, you notice that we're very, very, very close to the NAT83 realization. And actually, if you want to stake that point, it'll actually give us the different distance. So a couple tenths difference. Um, so that's the purpose of this new checkbox that you see under equipment, localization, and on the system tab, convert WGS84. The times when you'd want to check this box is when you're using a UNAVCO real-time data stream or if you're using a WAS data stream. So if you're using a receiver, using WAS corrections, and you want to store data that's NAD83, go ahead and check this box, um, WAS's WGS84 IGS08 projected, and uh, it'll bring you very close to a NAD83 realization.